Well, Phoenix may be the capital of Arizona officially, but Rock Springs is considered the pie capital <laughs> of Arizona. And if you, you've probably driven past it, we're about 30 minutes north of Phoenix. These pies are legendary, and the town has so much history. Tell me about the spot we're standing in. Well, we're at the center of Rock Springs, which was founded way back in 1864 when the cavalry came through following the Civil War and they found water coming from a spring box. And ever since then, it's become a way station for travelers going from either southern Arizona to northern Arizona and just stopping to refresh and relax and kind of enjoy themselves. Augie, I'm so glad you mentioned the water because the, he, as you mentioned, we are on a spring right. and some people say that that's why your pies are so special. Well, there are special recipes that have been handed down, modified, but if there's one secret ingredient, it's clearly the water. We sit on an aquifer uh, that's been tested to be a 100-year supply of water. And so that goes into all of our products, and it makes them as uh, tasty and delicious as they are. I love the history, too, of where we're standing, because we're, we're, we're in the pie box, which is a newer area, and we're directly across from your more well-known cafe. But right there behind me is where the Warner family used to live. That is their house and their actual kitchen, their bedroom, their dining room. Who were the Warners? The Warners are the family who founded. It was actually Ben Warner who came out from Ohio and came to Arizona, actually worked for an electric company, a predecessor to APS, and wanted to do something on his own. And he came out here, bought all this acreage, and built the cafe and um, the rest is history, as they say. But um, uh, they did live here, and we're on a spot of enormous history since it's Arizona's oldest restaurant. Listen, people say it's the palace in Prescott, but those people, Augie says, no, not accurate, <laughs> okay? Because the palace was technically a bar first. It was technically a bar. This is the oldest restaurant in the state. Yes, it is. And it's been operating consistently and continuously uh, since it was um, started back in 1918. It's so cute around here. You can come in here, get a piece of pie or eat at the cafe and walk around the grounds. I had no idea from the highway that this went so deep. There's little walkways and rose bushes and birds flying. It's just beautiful. Well, the patio is really fun to enjoy because it overlooks to the west the Bradshaw Mountain Range. And also uh, alongside our patio is a creek and that's the actual source of the, the water. There's a spring box down there. And then alongside this building is traces of what used to be the old stagecoach. And the stagecoach ran here until about 1920, coming from Flagstaff, dropping off mail, and then going on down to Phoenix for the rest of their deliveries. You're just, so. when you're here, you just are steeped in the history and the flavor of Arizona's past. And speaking of flavor, I guess we should <laughs> talk about the pies. Um, you gotta tell me about Thanksgiving here because it, I've heard it's just an absolute madhouse and that there's lines around the block. How many pies do you sell and what's your most popular? Well, the most popular pie continues all these years to be our bourbon pecan. Now the pecans in there are Arizona homegrown pecans from southern Arizona and the, uh, the bourbon is some famous sour mash that goes in it. We put about an ounce of the sour mash in each pie. And then our second most popular pie, which back in uh, 2012 was awarded the official state centennial pie, is our mixed berry. And it's a combination of three berries underneath that uh, crumb topping of uh, raspberry, blueberry, and blackberry. Now, the cream pies, you see our signature lemon meringue because Beautiful. of our, our signature uh, crowns on there, as well as another signature cream pie, our chocolate cream with its beehive uh, topping. But then apple comes in third. It is so popular. Uh, it's all America. I'm sorry, Apple. You're just bronze right now. You just, you're not going to take the gold. It's not happening. This pecan is too popular. But and this is a key lime. And this is our key lime. And this was introduced just for the season, but it's been so popular. We keep that year round now. And again, these are some of our most popular. We have other varieties. They all are well received by everyone. I'm about to receive some of this strawberry rhubarb. About how many pies 
do you sell or on Thanksgiving? And then how many pies do you sell annually? Do you know? Annually we sell, last year, about 125,000 pies. Wow. And we sell. That's a big piece of the pie pie. That's a big piece of pie. <laughs> and we sell about 15,000 pies over the holiday Thanksgiving season. And uh, we have another peak in the spring around Easter. But clearly, the uh, November, December holiday periods are peak season. And people come from all over. We have orders that we ship around the country. Um, and we have visitors from all over Arizona and other states who, when they're here, they've heard about the legend of the pies. And uh, we enjoy a real favorable response in the holidays. Well, thank you, Augie. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us. And if you can't get here to Rock Springs Cafe, you can order online. That looks really good. Hold on. They say you can't have your cake and eat it, too. But they don't say that about pie. <laughs> oh. Isn't that delicious? Phenomenal. Uh, uh, it's great. People often ask me, what's my favorite? And I really don't know.